Christmas and friends, the adventure begins. A long time ago, on the island of Sogor, there was a little railway known as the North Western. The smallest engine working on the main line was Edward. He helped with shunting cars and coaches in the yard for the larger engines. The biggest engine on the railway was Gordon. He loved pulling the express. But he didn't much care for some of his other jobs. A good strain. A good strain. The shame of it. Oh, the shame of it. Oh, Gordon, it can't be that bad. Yes, Edward, it is. I am a very important engine, but thankfully, I won't have to pull good strains for long. Not after the new engine gets here. New engine? What new engine? Haven't you heard? Sir Topham Hat is getting another engine. That last one he got with the wooden brake blocks was much too small to be really useful. But I'm not small. big as you, Gordon, but I'm bigger than Edward. And there's nothing wrong with wooden brake blocks, either. Unless they catch fire, of course. Can you move on now, please, James? You're blocking my way. My brakes don't catch fire. They're just as good as yours. Gordon didn't like pulling heavy good strings. But he especially didn't like pulling them up the big hill on the main line. Huh? Oh, I give up. What's he up to now? Come on, Gordon. You're not even trying. Hmm. I can't do it. Those noisy cars hold an engine back. If they were coaches, now that would be different. Hello? Hmm. <clears throat> Hello? The man in charge of the little railway was Sir Topham Hatt. I see. I see. It was his job to make sure all the trains ran on time. Oh dear. Okay. Goodbye. Hello, Edward. I'm afraid Gordon needs your help. My help, sir? Are you sure? Yes. He can't get up the hill with his goods cars, apparently. <whistles> okay, sir. I'm on my way. Hello, Gordon. I've come to push. No use at all. A small engine like you. Hmm. Oh, please, Gordon. Try. All right, all right. I can't do it. I will do it. I can't do it. I will do it. I can't do it. I will do it. I've done it. I've done it. I've done it. 
Oh, I knew I could do it! Not even so much as a thank you! <sighs> Later, Edward was back in the yard when he heard a voice he'd never heard before. Excuse me, can you tell me where Napford is? This is Napford. Where are you from? Oh, Brighton, on the mainland. <gasps> Sir Topham Hatt's new engine! All the best engines are from me. Is it really? I'm really happy to be here. I've never been on Sodor before. <gasps> Edward couldn't believe his eyes. The new engine had six small wheels, a short stumpy boiler, a short stumpy dome, and a short stumpy funnel. I've always wanted to come here. I... Hello? What's the matter? Do I have soot on my face? No, it's just... Well, you're not a big engine. Yes, I am. <laughs> no, you're not. Well, I was big enough to do my work on the mainland. Wait, wait! All I meant was, you're not as big as I am. I may not be as big as you, but I'm very hardworking. <laughs> and who are you? I'm Thomas, the new engine. Oh, dear. Sir Topham Hatt must have made a terrible mistake. I think he was expecting someone really useful. I am really useful. <laughs> For fetching coaches, perhaps. Oh well, if you stick around long enough, you might be lucky enough to see me pulling the express. That will be a fine sight. Sorry about Gordon, Thomas. I'm afraid he's often like that. I'm Edward, by the way. And I'm James. And here comes the boss. Sir Topham Hatt. <laughs> uh, oh. You must be Thomas, my new tank engine. Welcome to Sodor. I am Sir Topham Hatt. Pleased to meet you. <clears throat> sir, you're supposed to call him Sir. Oh, I'm pleased to meet you, Sir. I'm very pleased to meet you, too. Now, as you can see, I'm a very busy man, and this is a very busy railway. So, I expect you to make yourself really useful right away. Edward will show you what to do. Yes, sir. Really useful? <laughs> yes, right. Uh, carry on. This way, lads. <laughs> He's a really useful engine, you know. To and fro, he's the really useful engine we adore. Sorry, he's the one. Oh. He's the one. Oh. Oh. He's the really useful engine that we adore. He's the one. He's the one you know. Thomas. That's really useful, isn't it? Having another small engine to get him. He's still learning, Gordon. I'm just showing him what to do. Thomas! Oh, oh! A really useful engine, you know. <laughs> Maybe little, but he's never slow. Just you watch him go He's a really useful engine We adore He's 
the one. He's the one. He's the really useful engine that we adore. He's the one. He's the one you know. Thomas the Tank Engine. What's this? Thomas the Tank Engine. Whoa, whoa. Wake up, lazy bones! Why don't you work hard like me? <laughs> oh. That night, Thomas was the smallest engine at Tidmouth Sheds. But at least his new friend Edward was there too. I like being on Sodor, Edward. I just can't wait until I get to pull trains. Hmm. You better learn how to shunt cars and coaches first, Thomas. Oh, I'll soon get the hang of shunting, Edward. But I want to see the world. He's a very kind engine, but he's a bit of a worrier. Ah! And he doesn't like the rain. <laughs> Once an engine attached to a train, was afraid of a few drops of rain. He rushed into a tunnel and squeaked through his funnel and never came out again. <laughs> his driver and fireman argued with him, but he wouldn't budge. The rain will spoil my lovely green paint and red stripes, he said. The passengers got off and argued with him too, but he wouldn't move, even after the rain had stopped. So Sir Topham Hatt told the guard to get a rope and one, two, three, pull! Everyone pulled. Come on, pull harder. Come on, everyone. He's not moving. Except Sir Topham Hat. <laughs> my my uh, doctor has forbidden me to, to pull. When that didn't work, they tried pushing from the other end. One, two, Three, push! Everybody push! Harder! Come on, put your backs into it. Uh, <coughs> my doctor has also forbidden me to push. They tried pushing with an engine too. They took up the old rails, built a wall in front of him, and left him there. <gasps> Sir Topham Hatt let him out eventually, after Gordon burst his safety valve and couldn't pull. All right, story time is over. Some of us have to get some sleep. Oh. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
The next day, Sir Topham Hatt sent Thomas to the engine works to be repainted in the colors he liked to see on the Northwestern Railway. number one was a coffee pot. <laughs> coffee pot? Coffee pot is just a nickname for an engine with a boiler that points up in the air. Like those things people make coffee in. The coffee pot engines used to look after one of the branch lines, but they don't work there now. Although, I think the last one might still be on a siding. Stop chatting and bring me my coaches. Oh, you better do it, Thomas. I have a train to pull today. But I thought we were going to be working together. We are, just not all the time. My coaches! To Gordon. It's time for the Express. But we're, we're not the, the Express, express coaches. coaches. I'm Annie, and she is Clarabelle. And the Express coaches are on the other sidings. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, your ladyships. You see, I'm new around here. I'm Thomas. Oh, what a sweet little engine. Indeed, Annie, delightful. You go far, Clarabelle. Just you wait and see. Thomas wasn't used to working in the yard on his own. It was very busy all day long. something smoky, James? Like a burning smell? No. Not really. Nothing out of the ordinary. <laughs> Hello, Thomas. Hello, Henry. Um, Henry, can I ask you something? Did you really hide in a tunnel because of some rain? Yes, Thomas, I did. But, well, rain is just water. The same as you put in your boiler. So how could you be afraid of it? I don't know, Thomas. I can't explain it. I just am. And I don't like being teased about it. But I'm not teasing, Henry. I was just asking. I mean, you can't stop the rain. And you don't want to go around worrying all the time. Oh, I don't worry all the time, Thomas. I hardly worry at all when it's sunny. 
The next morning, Thomas found it hard to wake up. His fire went out, and there wasn't enough steam. You need to wake up, Thomas. It's nearly time for the express. Gordon will be waiting for his coaches. At last, Thomas started. Oh dear, oh dear, must get going, must get going. Hurry up, you. Hurry up yourself. I will. Gordon hadn't forgiven Thomas for waking him up from his nap. He started up so quickly oh, 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 that there was no time to uncouple Thomas. Hold on! Stop! Stop! <laughs> Come on! Keep up! Poor Thomas was going faster than he had ever gone before. Stop! Stop! Hurry! 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 He was out of breath and his wheels hurt him, but he had to go on. Edward! Thomas? Express coming through! <laughs> the train now approaching platform one in the 817 Express to Vickers Town. Oh yes. <gasps> ah, well, little Thomas. Now you know what hard work is like, don't you? <laughs> Poor Thomas puffed slowly away to rest. And had a long, long dream. The next day, he was back in the yard again. It's not fair. All the engines pull trains except for me. I never go anywhere. I wonder where those cars are meant to be going. Wake up, lazy wheels! Judy! Jerome! Emergency! Where's the accident? Is an engine off the rails? Or is it a breakdown? A fire! A bridge out! No, no, no! I am, um, um, well, I'm just wondering where you were going, that's all. Thomas! Over here! Sorry to disturb you. Disturb us? False alarm. Never, Never mind. Us, do they, Jerome? I mean, you don't want to go wasting time. Just in case we're needed. You mustn't touch those cars! That's the breakdown train. But why are they in the yard if they're not meant to be shunted? Don't they ever go anywhere? Only in emergencies. Like when a poor helpless coach needs lifting back onto the rails. <sighs> okay, I won't bother them again. You can take my cars away now, Thomas. I'm ready for my coaches. Oh, you're such a show-off, James. Maybe I am. But you just wait and see if Sir Topham Hat doesn't give me my own branch line soon. Hmm, there's that burning smell again. Huh? One morning, Henry wasn't feeling well. He wouldn't come out of the shed. Is it because you think it might rain today, Henry? No, Thomas. Uh, I think there's something wrong with my boiler. 
I might not be able to pull my coaches today. Maybe your firebox needs warming up. I'll go and fetch your coaches. What are you so happy about today, Thomas? If Henry doesn't come, I might get to pull his train. It's not as easy as you think, Thomas. Pulling trains is hard work. Thomas waited and waited, but still Henry didn't come. You'll have to find another engine. There's only Thomas, sir. Hmm. You'll have to do it then, Thomas. Be quick now. Yes, sir. Sir? Thomas raced around to the front of the coaches and backed up to them with a bump. Oh, don't be impatient now, Thomas. Wait until everything is ready. But Thomas was far too excited and not really listening. Thomas heard the guard's whistle, so he took off before his coaches could be coupled up. Uh, uh, Thomas! Thomas! Stop! Come back! I thought you were working in the yard. Can't you see I'm pulling coaches, James? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Edward says it's hard to pull trains, but I think it's easy. Uh, uh, yeah. hey? What? Come on. <laughs> They've never seen me pulling a train before. <sighs> it's nice of them to wave. Oh, bother! That red signal means danger. We have to stop. What a nuisance signals are. Hello, Thomas. What are you doing here? I'm pulling my very first passenger train. Can't you see? Really? Then where are your coaches? Oh no! Back at the station, the passengers were all talking at once, telling Sir Topham Hatt what a bad railway it was. Um, um, please everybody! Please calm down! We will find another engine as soon as we... Oh? I'm sorry, sir. I really am. I did say to wait until everything was ready, Thomas. This time, Thomas waited to be coupled up, and for the passengers to climb on board. Ready? Yes, Thomas. Now we're ready. The other engines thought it was very funny when they heard the story of Thomas's train. I'm glad you came to work on our railway, Thomas. You always give us something funny to laugh about. <sighs> Sir Topham Hatt will never let me pull trains again. But I want to go places and do things. I want to see the world. <laughs> see the world. Don't be sad, Thomas. If you really want to go out, why don't you take my goods train tomorrow? I can take over in the yard if you'd like. Really? Would you do that, Edward, for me? <laughs> yes, Thomas, I would. Now let's get some sleep, okay?
The next morning, Thomas could hardly contain his excitement. Is it these ones? Is it those? Which cars are they, Edward? Those cars, Thomas. But wait, I need to tell you something. I think I know, I know. I have to be coupled up before I go. You don't have to tell me. I've learned my lesson. Troublesome trucks can play tricks on you, Thomas. It's not the same as in the yard. They'll push you off the rails if you're not careful. Don't be silly. You worry too much, Edward. Like Henry. And so they like to bump the muscle. They bump them in the side. They bump them in the north. They better be there. They better take care. They better be on their guard. Thomas, be careful. Thomas pulls the trucks along the line. He's happy and he thinks he's going fine. The trucks all start to move. They rattle and they grow. Look at Thomas. Watch out, Thomas. That's a warning sign. Come along. Come along. Before long, Thomas comes to Gordonsville. It's hard work and he really has to go. Soon he's at the top and then he just can stop. On, on, on! The trucks are faster still. Because the trucks will get the engine every time. The trucks will run the engine off the line. They push them to the push them there until they go too fast. Then they push them once again, laughing while they crash. The trucks will get the engine every time. The trucks will run the engine off the line. Thomas, what are you doing here? And why did you come in so fast? I brought Edward's cars for him, sir, but they were pushing me. You've a lot to learn about cars, little Thomas. That's why I asked Edward to bring these cars and not you. If you're not prepared to be patient and learn how to do things properly, I have to keep you in the shed. <gasps> no, sir. Please, sir. I want to learn. I want to be a really useful engine. So Topham Hat was not just cross with Thomas. He was cross with Edward too. He told both his engines that they'd have to stay in the yard until Thomas could learn as much about cars as Edward. I'm sorry, Edward. This is all my fault. Never mind, Thomas. At least we're working together again. Who's meant to be taking these coaches? <gasps> Henry! <coughs> Thomas! Where are you going now? You're meant to stay in the yard! Thomas was hurrying back to Tidmouth Sheds to find Henry. Henry! Your passengers are waiting! You take the train, Thomas. You like pulling trains. No, Henry. It's your train. And besides, Edward and I have to stay in the yard. Well, I have to stay in the shed. It's raining, Thomas. A lot. But Henry, don't you want to pull your train? Don't you want to hurry along the tracks like... Ah! It's only water, Henry. Come on, just little drops of water. That's what rain is, water. Like I put in my boiler? Exactly. Your passengers are waiting, Henry. See? Only water. It washes right off. Thomas worked hard in the yard now. 
he knew that he wasn't as clever as he had thought. Besides, he wanted to learn all about cars and coaches to be a really useful engineer. Sir Topham Hatt is coming by this afternoon, Thomas, to see how you're getting on. I'm getting on okay now, aren't I? Of course you are. I think you nearly know as much about cars as I do now. Oof. Uh-oh. Almost. <laughs> I meant to do that. <laughs> There, Judy. Yes, Jerome. Ready to lift. Me too. Let's go. Whoa. You're all right. 
right. You're all right. We've got you. At last, James was lifted safely onto the track. Sir Topham Hatt had come to make sure that everyone was okay. Well done, Thomas. Now, I'd like you to take James to the engine works. Do you know the way? Yes, sir. I do, sir. That's where I was painted blue. <laughs> That's right. Indeed. Well done, Thomas. Today you really were the best engine. Even Gordon seemed impressed. What you did was terrific. Really useful, that's what I'd say. <laughs> James shall have new brakes, a bit of repair here and there, and a new coat of paint. And you, Thomas. Due to your unselfish bravery and heroism, you have shown yourself worthy of having your own branch line. My own branch line? Congratulations, Thomas! But who will fetch our coaches for us, sir? Tender engines are not meant to shunt. I don't know, Gordon. Perhaps you'll have to fetch your own until I can get another small engine, like Thomas. What? What? <laughs> A few days later, an engine came into the yard that Thomas and Edward had never seen before. <laughs> James, is that really you? Of course it is. <laughs> How do you like my new paintwork? Wow, James! You look splendid! I know. I'm ready for my coaches. We're Thomas's coaches now, James. That's right! And he's got his very own branch line, too. Off to see the world now, Thomas? <laughs> yes, Edward. I am. Wake up, lazy bones! Really useful engine coming through! <laughs> oh, the integrity. He's a really useful engine, you know. It's a top of half what well, he told him so. Now he's got a branch line to call his very own. He's a really useful engine we adore. He's the one. He's the one, he's the really useful engine that we adore. He's the one, he's the number one, Thomas the Tank Engine. Oh, you must be the new number one. I'm Thomas. Well, look after the branch line, Thomas, and wear that number with pride. Don't worry, Mr. Coffee Pot. I will. You can count on me. <laughs> but I'm not Mr. Coffee Pot. My name is Lynn. He's a really useful engine, you know. As a top on half when he told you so. Now he's got a branch line to call his very own. He's the really useful engine we adore. He's the one, he's the one, he's the really useful engine that we adore. He's the one, he's the number one, Thomas the Tank Engine. Little Blue Train, he's always there whenever you need a hand. You need help with a situation Who comes into mind? He's 
the one.